Hello, sports fans. We're back. And we are back playing the 1975 Detroit Tigers against the 1989 Kansas City Royals. Now, if you will recall, the Royals won game one by the slim margin of 1-0 by scoring a run in the eighth inning and defeating the Tigers, who now come into this game down one game to nothing, and it's a best-of-three series. So if they lose this game, the 75 Tigers are out, and the 89 Kansas City Royals will advance to the next round in the Round Robin Tournament that I've got going on. And if you're not aware of that, you need to go back and look at some of my other videos. Look through my video library. And you will find them, although I will link at the end to a um, end card from one of the other series uh, so that you can uh, familiarize yourself with what I'm doing. So anyway, best of three series. It's usually a terrible team from the past against a very good team from the past. In this case, the 75 Tigers are the terrible team. They were 57-102. and 102. And the very good team from the past is the Royals, who in 1989 were 92 and 70. And um, so that's that's what you got going on. And uh, let's see here. Let me write my scoreboard down. That was the one thing I didn't do. I was set up and ready to go other than that. Um, in this case, uh, Kansas City is visiting Detroit because the first game was in Kansas City, as they are, they would be the home team, as they had the better record. So, the uh, pitchers for today's game are uh, for the uh, Kansas City Royals will be um, Luis Aquino, and for the Detroit Tigers, it will be Laren Lagro. And Laren Lagro is going to start off by pitching to Willie Wilson. And he gets a 2-7, which is a double 1-7. And he gets a single. So, Willie Wilson's aboard with a hit. That's the first hit given up on the first batter by Legro, And Wilson's an A stealing. He will try to steal second base. And that is a 9, so he makes it easy. And he gets a stolen base, and so now that brings up Jim Eisenreich with no outs, and he gets a 1-9, which is a ground ball second base A. That would have been a double play, but Wilson stole second. So nobody goes anywhere, and that ground ball was, yes, to the second baseman. One away, man at second for Kansas City, and you got Pat Tabler coming up. He gets a 2-3, which is a strikeout. Legro may just get out of this. Even though there was a leadoff single by Willie Wilson and a stolen base by Willie Wilson and Bo Jackson. And Bo knows that he just struck out. So, Legro bounces back nicely by getting a ground out and two strikeouts after Willie Wilson singled and stole second. And Kansas City got nothing. In the first, we'll see if Kansas City carries over their lack of their um, <coughs> noticeable lack of offense from game one, although Detroit also had that. Ron LaFleur will be starting off against Aquino. He gets a 6-8, which is a single. Or no, no, it isn't. It's a fly ball to center. One away, looking at the wrong guy. LaFleur is out. Flying out to center field, and Leon Roberts is up. He gets a 3-6. Now, he does get a single, but he can't steal. So, Aquino gives up his first hit of the ball game to the second batter of um, the um, Detroit lineup. And Ben Ogilvy is up for six. And he gets a line out to first base, two away. And up steps Willie Horton. Willie Horton with a single double asterisk. That puts runners at the corners. And Detroit has something going here. Of course, Horton is one of their better hitters. And uh, when I say one of their better hitters, 
it's not only a low bar, but he's about the only one. Gary Sutherland is now up, and he gets a 4-7, which is a single double asterisk, and they score a run. First run of the series, scored by the um, by the uh, Detroit Tigers. And that's a third hit allowed and an earned run. And now runners are still at the corners with Verizon up, and he gets a 6, Verizer, Tom Verizer, and he gets a 6-9, which is a pop-out to short. So Detroit fails to score another run, but they do get one. And they take the one nothing lead. Last game, that would have won it for them. And let's see if Kansas City's lack of offense um, continues here with Kevin Seitzer up. 1-9, he gets a single. So, Kevin Elka Seitzer getting a hit. LeGro giving up his second base hit. Danny Tartable up. He gets a 2-10, which is a strikeout. One away. Tartable, not a bad hitter that year. Uh, hit 268, 18 home runs. And Bob Boone is up at the plate. He gets a 1-3, which is a line out to third. So that's two away. And Booney is done. And that brings up uh, Frank White with two down and a man at first. And he gets a 6-6. Six, six. And that is going to be a strikeout. Frank White. Third strikeout for Legro, And we go to the bottom of the second. Detroit leading... 1-0, bottom of the second, and they're up with Aurelio Rodriguez up. He gets a 2-9, which is a ground ball to short. Brings up Jack Price, and Jack Price gets a 6-9, which is a pop-out to short. Or Jack Pierce, sorry, my mistake, Jack Pierce. And Jack Pierce is on playing first base uh, because um, last game, Dan Meyer was injured and injured for the series. So Freehand comes up and he gets a 2-9, which is a ground ball to short. No runs come across. And Detroit still has the 1-0 lead as we go to the top of the third with Kansas City batting against Laren Legro. Stillwell up at the plate. He gets a pop out to short. Willie Wilson up. He gets a 4 9, which is a triple one or a single. That's going to be a single. So Willie Wilson's two for two this game. And he stole last time. And you got to believe he's going to go again with one out already. And 16, I think he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. They gun him out. So he's tried to steal three times in this series and been caught twice. And that is the second out. And Eisenreich's up. He gets a 5-6, which is a fly ball center field, and he's out. This Kansas City offense, I really do not, for the life of me, know how they won 89 games. Because, I mean, they're playing against... Not the greatest pitchers in the world. I mean, they're maybe they're not terrible, but they're not the greatest in the world here. And they can't even, they've scored one run in now 12 innings. Ron LaFleur is up, back to the top of the order. He gets a double one to two or a single. And he gets a single. You might wonder if he would go because he is a stealing um a stealing A, but he's been gunned once too, but they've decided they got to try it, and he does make it. So LaFleur steals second, even on Bob Boone. And Leon Roberts is up. He gets a 4-2 on Aquino, which is a strikeout. One out, man at second, Ben Ogilvy up. 6-4 is a single. So Detroit has runners at the corners, and they may actually even send LaFleur because 
He's a he's a fast runner. One seventeen. They are going to send him on that single try to score. It's a sixteen, and that <clears throat> that was to right field. The right fielder for Kansas City is Eisenreich. Let's see what his arm is. Eisenreich's arm is a zero, so that will be a score. And they have another, let's see, that was Ogilvy with the hit. So he gets a run batted in. Aquino gives up another hit and another earned run. And uh, Willie Horton's up. Still only one out. 5-4 is a center field X. That's Willie Wilson. He's a two in center. First X chart reading. That's a 14. Probably an out. And it is. So Horton is out. And that brings up, with a man at first and two down, Gary Sutherland. And he gets a 2-7, which is a pop-out to third. Sutherland out. But Detroit strikes again, and they have a 2-0 lead here going into the top of the fourth on a Kansas City team that won 89 games in 1989, but or 92 games in 1989, but can't seem to break through with a lot of runs. 6-6 six, six on Legro is a strikeout. So Tabler is out. Let's see, where is Tabler? He may be the first, because somebody did get injured in game one. Oh yeah, George Brett did. So yeah, Tabler is on to play first base. And he didn't bat, no, the injury was late last, last game, so he did not bat. Oh for two here. And that brings up Bo Jackson with one down. Two nine is a strikeout. Fourth strikeout for Legro, who is pitching really well. And that brings up one nine single Seitzer with an I think his uh, second hit of the game. And Legro gives up his third hit. And that brings up Tartable. And Tartable gets a 4-2 on Legro, which is a fly ball right field. No runs again. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Kansas City struggling to score runs. Of course, really, Detroit is two. They only have two runs in the entire series. But they're both in this game and giving them the 2-0 lead. Tom Verizer up. He gets a 3-7, which is a single one to 19. And that is a hit. Tom Verizer's aboard. First hit of the series for him. Fifth hit allowed for Aquino. Aurelio Rodriguez gets a 4-10, which is a ground ball to third base. The third baseman is uh, Seitzer, and he is a 4 at third, and that's a six. That's going to be big time. That is a single one. All right, maybe not that big time, but it's still a hit and a sixth hit allowed and no outs with runners at first and second for Detroit with Jack Pierce up, and he gets a one eight, which is a fly ball right. One away. That brings up Bill Freehand, and Freehand gets a 5-6, which is a single, and that would load the bases at the very least, but let's see if they can score a run on that. Um, we're talking about Verizon 1-12, to no. He's going to hold up, bases will stay, stay loaded, 
with one out and LaFleur up and he gets a 6-5, which is a single and knocks in a run. So that's the seventh hit allowed, third run for Aquino. Leon Roberts up, he gets a 6-9, which is a pop-out to short, two away. And that brings up Ben Ogilvy. And he gets a 6-11, which is a ground ball C. And that is it for the damage. Detroit scoring another single run in the fourth, but still maintaining a 3-0 lead now. Um, Aquino not pitching great, but they're still going to stick with him. At least it looks like for now, no, uh, no action out in the Kansas City bullpen with Bob Boone coming up and he gets a five, five, which is a strikeout. Legro is just, man, he is just manhandling this lineup as really Lolich did last game. Frank White up. He gets a 4-6. That's a walk. So at least Frank White gets a board. He's a stealing D. He'll stay right where he is. Does Stillwell's up. That's a 3-9. And that is a walk. So Kansas City has a, some, a little something brewing here. With Stillwell walking. <clears throat> Two on, one out, Willie Wilson up, 4-8, and that's going to be huge. That's a double one to 16 or a single double asterisk, and that is a double. And Kansas City scores their first run this game with Willie Wilson knocking the run in. Fourth hit allowed by Legro. Earned run, Eisenreich up. 5-11. That is going to be a ground ball to first base. The first baseman for the, um, that's Jack Pierce who came on last game. And that's a 6-4. That is not going to be good, folks. That's a single one. So that's the second run. Eisenreich knocking the run home. Legro now has given up five hits and two earned runs. And now he has a thin very thin lead, Pat Tabler up, 6-6, six, six, and that's going to be a strikeout. Pat Tabler goes down on strikes. Legro with a key out there, and Bo Jackson up, and he gets a 6-12, which is a single one to 16, or 3-12, which is a single one to 16. And that is a single, and Kansas City ties the game. with that hit. So Legro, who was really cruising, is all of a sudden not cruising. And Seitzer is up 6-4. That's going to be a ground ball to third. Third baseman for Detroit is a two. That's a really O Rodriguez. So at least they have a good defensive third baseman. And 6-2 will be an out. Retardable. So uh, they get, they do, Kansas City gets three runs though, all in one inning, which all of a sudden makes it into a game. It looked like Detroit threatened to pull away a little bit, but they, uh, but it doesn't look like they um, were able to do that. So Aquino definitely stays out there. Willie Horton up. He gets a 211, which is a single. So Detroit gets a hit. Nakino continues to have problems allowing base runners. Um, that's his eighth hit allowed. Gary Sutherland with a 5 4. That's a fly ball to center. That's Willie Wilson, and he's a 2. And that is a 14. What is that? A 14. So that's going to be one away. Sutherland out. Tom Verizer gets a 
which is a strikeout, two away. And Aurelio Rodriguez gets a 212, which is a foul out to the catcher. So Rodriguez is out. No runs come in for Detroit. We go to the top of the sixth in a tie game at three. Here in game two of the 89 Royals versus the 75 Tigers, Bob Boone is up. He gets a 6-8. That is a single on Legro. And so now all of a sudden Legro is just falling apart. Bob Boone is up, or Bob Boone is on with a hit. And that brings up Frank White. And Frank White gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a strikeout. One away. Eight strikeout for Legro. So he's, I mean, he's striking batters out. But Stillwell gets a 6-5, which is a ground ball second base C. Moves a runner to second. There is two down, though. And that brings up Willie Wilson. And Willie Wilson gets a strikeout. Willie Wilson with an RBI this game. But he can't come through for them right there. And Kansas City gets nothing in the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Two very close games between these two teams. Who in real life were separated by 40-some wins. Which is crazy. For 30-something. 30 30-some 30 wins. Jack Pierce... 6-9 is a pop-out to short. Bill Freehand, 6-7, is a ground ball to the shortstop. And the shortstop is Stillwell, and he's a 3. And that's going to be a base hit for Freehand. Again, the bugaboo of the base hit. That's the ninth hit allowed for Aquino. LaFleur is up and he gets a 3-6, which is a ground ball B. And so now he's aboard with two down. And you know he's going to steal. He's an A. And he's out. Gunned. So that's it. These great base stealers. I'm telling you. They've tried to combine four times and they've only stolen two bases. So, no runs for uh, Detroit. We go to the top of the seventh. Kansas City batting. Legro still out there. Eisenreich up. 6-5 is a ground ball second base. One away. Pat Tabler up. He gets a 4-9, which is a triple one or a single. And he does get a single. One for four. This game in the eighth hit allowed for Legro. And, and Bo Jackson's up and he gets a one nine, which is a strikeout. Two away. And that brings up Kevin Elka Seitzer, six nine. And that is a pop out to, sh uh, wait a minute, six nine. No, that's a single. So, Seitzer with a single. Ninth hit allowed for Legro. Two runners on, two out. Tartable up, and he gets a 1 6, which is a double 1 to 18. It's going to score a run. And uh, that does score a run. Tartable with the hit, the RBI. They're going to hold out for possibly more here. By just seeing if Boone can knock somebody in with a 1-6. And he pops out to third. Just missed a hit. But they did get a run. So now Kansas City takes a 4-3 lead. And there will be some action in the uh, Detroit pen. With... Uh, Let's see. We don't want to go to him. Yeah, maybe we will to do or die. So John Hiller is going to warm up for Detroit. <clears throat> and Dave Robert, or Leon Roberts is up. Batting for Detroit. Here in the bottom of the seventh. 
with Detroit now down by the score of 4-3. And he gets a 1-7, which is a pop-out to third base. So Roberts is out. Ben Ogilvy gets a 5-5, which is a line-out to third base. Two away. And Willie Horton. Willie Horton with a 5-10. That's a walk. So Horton working his way aboard. Aquino with his first walk of the game right there, though. And Gary Sutherland up 3-7, which is a ground ball, third base A. So Sutherland is out. No runs come in for Detroit. We go to the top of the eighth. <clears throat> and in the top of the eighth, Detroit will bring in Yes, we'll bring in um, John Hiller. So Legro went seven. Not not too terrible. He gave up ten hits and walked two in seven innings, but only four runs. Not sure if that qualifies in the now nowadays as a quality start, but it's close if it's not. And we got Frank White um, batting against Hiller. And he gets a 110, which is a double. Just laces a double down the left field line. So Frank White with a hit. Um, Hiller gave up the hit. With Stillwell up, they're going to sacrifice. And that, man, that might be a base hit. It is. Batter beats out the bunt. So now they've got runners at, at first and third. With Stillwell getting a base hit. So Hiller came in, just made things worse. Runners are at the corners. They're going to have to bring the infield in with Willie Wilson up. 4-7, and that's a walk, so now the bases are loaded. Willie Wilson draws a walk, infield still in, Eisenreich up, he gets a 4-5, which is a double one to six or a fly ball. And that's going to be a nine, so it is a fly ball and scores... A run. Eisenreich with an RBI. Hiller with the earned run. They're going to keep the infield back now. One away. Tabler up. 6-11. That's a fly ball center field. Their center fielder is LaFleur and he's a 4. That's an 11. That's going to be huge. That's big. That is a double two. So Tabler with another with another base hit and his first RBI. Hiller gives up another hit and an earned run and the second earned run. And Bo Jackson's up five. Uh, they're going to bring in the infield five eight. Five eight is a strikeout, and that's what they were expecting when they brought. Um, Hiller in. They weren't expecting him to come in and crap the bed, which is what he did. Kevin Seitz are up 3-3, three, three, and that's going to be a ground ball shortstop, and he's out. But not before Kansas City strikes for two more runs to take a 6-3 lead. And now Detroit is going to have to really, in the bottom of the eighth, down 6-3. They're really going to have to reach back and try to get on. And uh, Verizer is up. He gets a 6-9, which is a pop-out to short. One away. Aurelio Rodriguez, 4-8. And that's a single... So Aurelio Rodriguez gets a board. Tenth hit allowed for Aquino. Jack Pierce up 4-7. That's a single double asterisk. 
Detroit is working it. They're working it here. Uh, Bill Freehand's up, and he gets 3-3, three, three, which is a ground ball, shortstop, A. So that, I believe, is the end of the inning because there was an out. So, or at least it looked like there was an out. Yeah, there was. So, Freehand hits into a double play, and no more damage is done. We go to the top of the ninth. Tartable up against Hiller. 612 is a uh, fly ball center. He's a four. That's an 11. That's a double again. Tartable with a base hit. Hiller gives up his fourth hit. Bob Boone, 2 6 is a walk, so he gets a board. Kansas City, all of a sudden. The best reliever Hill, uh, Detroit has is just falling apart. Frank White up. He gets a 3-6, which is a walk. That loads the bases. I don't even... All right. I mean, they got to go to the bullpen. This is crazy. Now, all of a sudden, Kansas City wants to score some runs. So, they will... Let's see. They're going to get up uh, Dave Lomanchek in the bullpen. Still well up. The infield has to come in. 5-6. That's a strikeout. One away. Infield still in. Willie Wilson. 5-5, five, five. that's a strikeout, two away. I guess Hiller looked out there and saw that Lemanchek was warming up. Eisenreich up, 3-6 is a double. <laughs> well, yeah, he saw it, and now he's going to see the uh, showers. Eisenreich ripping a double, knocks in two RBIs. And that is going to be it for Hiller, who goes a scant one and two-thirds innings. And then they bring in Lemanchak. With Tabler up to face him. Infield back, there's two away, I think. So 110 is center field X. He's a four. Not helping anybody. And he's allowing another double. LaFleur having a little trouble out there in the field. Tabler with uh, two more RBIs. And both of those will be charged to Hiller, who gave up six runs. Crazy. And Jackson is up for seven. That is a single one to three. And that is an out. Bo Jackson is out. But, um, three, four, five, six. Yeah, like, something like four runs came in, looks like. So, I mean, it's, it's a lot to too little. And they were going to take, um, Aquino was going to come out, but I mean, now there's no need for that. It's it's 10 to 3. The floor is up. 3 7 is a strikeout. And he can't even make up for all the air, or well, not really errors, but all of the uh, runs that he allowed by not being able to track balls down. Leon Roberts, 3 9, which is a tri triple 1 to 8. That is going to be a single. So Leon Roberts on with a hit. 12 hits allowed for Aquino. Four hits, or 12 hits, a walk, and three earned runs. Ogilvy up 4 7. That's a single double asterisk. 
In any other game, Aquino would have been gone, or against any other team. Really, probably two. He would have been gone, but uh, they are going to look through their bullpen, though. So Terry Leach is warming up for the uh, Royals. And Willie Horton is up with runners at the corners. One out. Three six is a strikeout. That's two away. Horton's out. Only the second strikeout for Aquino, too. And then Sutherland comes up. Gets a six eight. And that is a fly ball to center. Turns out they did not need the services of Terry Leach. Um, so the final score here is uh, Kansas City 10 and Detroit 3. A very high scoring affair, especially as compared to Game 1. And that means that the 1989 Kansas City Royals are advancing to the next round. The 1975 Tigers will be sitting at home. And that is it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.